9-11. Great. That's appropriate. Today's the day. A big comedy showcase at Flappers. Feeling pretty good about it. The key is, I've only got five joke sections. Widow, 22-year-old cafeteria guy, military brat adoption. I can remember those five. It's going to go well. Widow, 22-year-old cafeteria guy, military brat. Widow, 22-year-old cafeteria guy, military brat adoption. Widow, 22-year-old cafeteria guy, military brat adoption. Widow, 22-year-old cafeteria guy, military brat adoption. Aww. Widow, 22-year-old cafeteria guy, military brat adoption. Any, caf <laughs> any cafeteria guys here tonight? <sighs> any divorce guys here tonight? Go ahead and wave your empty bank accounts at me. So I'm trying to decide now what to wear. So I've, I've laid out some options. You know, obviously we've got black t-shirt or black t-shirt. Here we have a wrinkled black t-shirt or a black t-shirt. Good choice, black t-shirt. I like it. Widow Tortillo. There it is. Flappers Comedy Club. Tonight, we flap. Come into the stage, folks! He's from Raleigh, North Carolina! Awesome guys. How many people did I pay here to be here tonight? Oh good, good. Do we have any uh, divorced guys in the house? Let's go ahead. Yeah, 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 just wave your empty bank accounts at me. Yes. I hear you back there. I am divorced. I didn't want to be divorced though. I wanted to be widowed. No, she promised. As they were She promised. Yeah. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I'm, and I'm a gentleman. I'm like, ladies first? A lot of my friends thought we had the perfect marriage, but life before the divorce, well, it was kind of like a not funny, everybody loved Raymond. Just me running around like, Deborah, why is the house in foreclosure? It's terrible. I'm not even sure why we got divorced. I talked with my family. They didn't know why I was getting divorced. I talked with my friends. They didn't know why I was getting divorced. Even my 22-year-old girlfriend didn't know why I was getting divorced. Don't turn on me. Do not turn on me. Because she was actually 19. Okay, now you can turn on me. Feel it. Oh man, 19, what was that like? A lot of macaroni and cheese. All the chicken tenders. Her dad was really cool though, because uh, we were the same age. It was awkward. It was not my finest hour, but I did find a way to use that in my LinkedIn profile. Mm -hmm. Works well with millennials, so. Oh uh, man. What else can I tell you? I mean, you guys get to go home after this. I have to live with this asshole, so. Uh, the last place I worked got a little awkward because even cafeteria guy was trying to catfish me. Yeah, he was like, son, have you met my daughter? She looks just like Penelope Cruz. Mm -hmm. Every father thinks their daughter looks like Penelope Cruz. Also, I'm not sure why I turned him into Foghorn Leghorn just then. Like, son? Son, I said, son, my daughter looks like that road between Dallas and Fort Worth. No curves, you know what I mean? No curves. He didn't say that. What he did say was, my daughter looks just like Penelope Cruz. I'm like, no, cafeteria guy. She looks like Ted Cruz. 
I am a military brat. Thank me for my service. Yeah. Thank you. What that means is that we moved around a lot growing up. And if I recall my family history correctly, my very first move was from, yeah, was from my dad's wiener to my mom's uterus was my first move. Yeah. Yeah, 40 million of my closest friends showed up. <laughs> the whole swim team, really. The new place was cool. I had my own uh, room, so that was good. I liked it. And growing up, my sister, man, she, she used to love to tell everybody that I was adopted. But I'm here to set the record straight. She was adopted, but the family gave her back to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, I, I wanted to be adopted really bad. So bad that I had all the paperwork drawn up and delivered last week to Angelina Jolie, so here's hoping that works out. Thank you guys very much, that's my time.